Good morning, friends. Give folks a little time here to get connected and settle in as I attempt to not <laughs> create feedback with my scarf. This is not gonna work. <sighs> Happy Tuesday. Just over at Inner Power Yoga. Good morning, Rebecca. I appreciate everyone joining me this morning. I saw a few, well, I spent time with a few of you this morning, potentially at Inner Power Yoga um, with our morning practice. I'll be back there on Thursday for sunrise and on Sunday at 4.30 for twilight. And hi, Aaron. So as we settle in here, giving folks another moment or two to connect. If you're watching this real time, you can always scoot, excuse me, if you're watching it later after it's been recorded, you can always scoot ahead to probably about two minutes um, when we really dig into the meditation itself. <laughs> I'm getting to know Aaron fairly well. Rebecca, I'm glad you enjoyed the practice. It's awesome. And so, good morning, Michelle. So, yesterday, if you had joined me for meditation, I had referenced that meditation, um, which was connecting to your heart space and the energy in your heart, uh, an effort to then feel those feelings of gratitude and compassion and love and sending them to yourself within your own body. And in the way that that's the beginning of a meta meditation, uh, meta me, meaning loving kindness. And so today's practice um, is going to be um, sort of the step, the second step in the meta meditation. And it will be the gratitude but in the way of reaching out and thinking about things in your life that you're grateful for now truth be told and i'm frank you know if you know me that's just how i roll right um it's been a struggle like there's been some challenging moments things are kind of up in the air and every moment something's different and I, my, my, one of my core values is structure. I like things to be done in such a way. I try to keep the pillows symmetrical. You know, this is why I do yoga, right? Um, but one of the things I've realized along this journey and where we've been in this last now going into two weeks and whatever else is to come is that what I focus on is what grows okay and if I focus on what I don't have if I focus on what I can't do that's all I'm gonna think about and that's not gonna help anybody it's certainly not gonna help me and so what I invite you to do is not to, it's not about sunshine and rainbows. Like I love me some sunshine, rainbows, puppies, kittens, unicorns, etc. But what it is about is thinking about the things that you do have right? and having the attention on those so that there is a feeling of gratitude, a more positive outlook, and then those things in our life are what we see more of and we can find more things that we're grateful for versus the things that are challenging us, okay? Simple in concept, none of this is easy, right? But we're in it together. So our practice today will be a gratitude meditation in effort to focus on the things that we do have. And I'll guide you through it a bit, as I often do. It's just how I roll. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining me. And as I guide us into our seat and guide us through this awareness of gratitude, and I'll make some suggestions 
we'll hold some space and we'll go from there. All right. So finding your seat, which you may already have done, maybe settling into it a little bit, supporting in a chair or on a cushion here on the floor, allowing the hands to land in a way that is comfortable. The eyes can be soft or closed. Bring your mind's eye down to the base of your spine. As your mind's eye travels up the length of your spine, just tune in to see if you're rounding or tilting. And just invite as much length and height and finding your tall seat as best you can. And here in this tall seat, take a moment to, moment to tune in to that space between your eyebrows. Maybe the, any holding in the jaw. Invite the shoulders to soften. Arms to be heavy. You feel the whole body expand as you breathe in. And invite that exhale to wash down over you as you breathe out. In the base of the spine, here this midpoint, the inhale as you sit tall through the crown of the head. And from the base of the spine, the exhale rooting you into your seat, grounding you here and now. As you breathe here in your mindful seat, feeling the gentle movement of expansion and rooting. And here in this very moment, when we're present, we can tune into a mere handful of things we can find gratitude for. Mm. Grateful for your breath moving in and out of your body. And grateful for the room that supports you, the roof over your head. And grateful for the time you have here to pause, to breathe, to reflect, and to be present. As you breathe in, imagine going inward once more, following your inhale into your chest. And reconnecting with your heart space, your source of gratitude, love, and compassion.
And just like in a meta meditation, we reach out to someone or something for which we are grateful. And we reach out that energy, gratitude and love. We create a connection. And the connection between each other and those things we value here on this plane. And focusing on gratitude also creates a connection out into the universe, a tether. And that tether to the universe, that energy you send out is a two-way path. And what you send out into the world finds its way back to you. And connecting with your heart space, the energy that you're sending out into the world, maybe even beginning with just your home and the people within it. Picture them, hold them in your heart, sending them gratitude and love. And feel that energy expand out to your neighborhood. Maybe it's the trees that are flowering, the puppies you see on your walk, the neighbor that waves, you wave back. And shine your gratitude out into your neighborhood. And taking that focus wider, a focus out into your town or your state, or even reaching out to the people you know in other places than where you live, your friends, your family. Imagine sending out light, energy filled with gratitude, love and compassion to each of those people. And as you picture them in your mind, hold them in your heart. Visualize them being wrapped in this energy and protected. If there's other things in your life, a park nearby or a future trip, inviting energy to shine out. Maybe even imagine blue and green marble swirled with white clouds gathering up energy amongst our web 
wrapping around the earth. And gratitude for our home. And if it's one thing or many things, the earth, a friend, anything in your life, Allow your focus to rest upon one or many things. And tune in to the source within you. And visualize that source connecting, reaching out. As you breathe here, offering up gratitude. And sharing your light. In by the breath in and out. Know that the energy you send out, the gratitude you offer to the world, 
to the people in your life, to the things that you have. And creates this gossamer web of light, love, as we continue to reach out via meditation, via phone, via Skype, whatever that might be, that reaching out builds the connection, creates grooves, pathways for energy to flow to each other, out into the universe. Know that at any point in the day, you can come back to this idea of what do I have? And gently blinking your eyes open. And reflecting on what you do have and allowing that to grow. You can always come back to your breath to the present moment. I appreciate you taking time to pause with me, to focus on gratitude, to help me reconnect. I am grateful for you and your time and your energy. If you have any questions, please let me know. You can drop them below in the comments. I still can't do that right, I have no idea. In the comments, you can pop that. You can shoot me a note. Today is Tuesday. I have things, oh, I have movement scheduled, I think for tomorrow, I think so. But it is on my page as far as other things that are coming up. If there's something that you would like to explore, perhaps we can find some time for that. Just let me know, all right? Thank you for being here. Have a beautiful day. And until our paths cross again, friends, be well and namaste. Thank you. You're welcome, Susan. Thank you. Thank you, Peg. Excellent. All right, well, coffee? Maybe we should do a Zoom date later and have coffee or tea or whatever. All right. Thank you all so much. Have a fantastic day. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. All right. I'll see you soon. Oh, I love the love. <laughs>